into it, and you've seen iChat AV, where up to four people can do video conferencing right on the desktop with great quality, again, because of H.264. So Tiger, we think, is the best release we've ever shipped. And you know what? The critics have agreed. You know, you should, the quotes, I'm sure you've seen some of them. This is from Computer World. Want to see what the future of personal computing looks like? Don't wait for Microsoft to show you. Go out and get yourself a copy of Apple's OS X Tiger. It's that good. Here's the New York Times. Spotlight isn't just a super fast find command. It's an enhancement that's so deep, convenient, and powerful, it threatens to reduce the 20-year-old system of nested folders to irrelevance. Here, here. <laughs> CBSnews.com. I remember writing an article about Lotus 123 back when the product was released during the 80s. It may have been nearly two decades since I wrote that column, but it took Spotlight less than two seconds to find it. <laughs> Business Week. Tiger bolsters OS X's edge as the best personal computer operating system around and a similar one from the Detroit Free Press. It's the most elegant, useful, and powerful operating system I've ever used in three decades of computer ownership. It runs circles around Windows. And finally, Walt Mossberg, it leaves Windows XP in the dust. So, And I know you guys are all taking advantage of the latest, greatest Tiger features in your apps, and it's, it's very exciting. And I'm really pleased to report to you that this week uh, we will deliver copies sold through retail, delivered through maintenance, and shipped on the Mac since we cut over the two millionth copy of Mac OS X Tiger. This is the fastest, remember, it's been about six weeks since we started shipping it, and we are thrilled with this. This is the most successful OS release ever. And it's not just us that's been busy with Tiger. Take a look at the, the third-party stuff that's been released. Over 400 Spotlight plugins, or 40, I'm sorry, over 400 dashboard widgets, and over 550 automator actions have already been posted. And in particular, I want to focus in on these dashboard widgets. Dashboard is one of the most exciting features of Tiger, and people have done some beautiful things, and I'd like to just show you a few of them now. So let me go ahead into Dashboard. You all know Dashboard. And uh, let me get a few out here. Let me go back here. Uh, here's a great one for Amazon. Uh, this one doesn't just uh, take you to Amazon when you search for something, but uh, I can search for... Um, let's say, uh, Tiger. And uh, it, right in place, goes and searches Amazon and just gives me all the stuff I might want. Right? Or uh, iPod. Boom. And there's all the stuff on Amazon I might want for an iPod. Uh, let me show you another one that's really cool. Business Week uh, is just releasing this, I think, today. But this gives me uh, up-to-date Business Week stories right here. And so I can look and, uh, you know, take a look at uh, Apple if I want to. And there's all the stories about... Uh, about Apple today, and I can flip it around in the back <laughs> and uh, look at top news or technology or whatever I want to do. It's pretty cool. So there we go. Um, and uh, let's go on to uh, CNN. has got a similar thing. It's not as nice a looking as Business Weeks, but it uh, does the job. And there's all the latest CNN stories. Um, you know, here's a cool one if you haven't seen it called Countdown Calendar. So you bring up this Countdown Calendar and you go in the back and you fill in the dates uh, that you want to count down to. So I'm going to say 12, 31, 2006. I'm going to put in uh, Longhorn. <laughs> and uh, that's the days until Longhorn. Just count them down. Um, here's, you know, here's a good package tracker for UPS, DHL, or FedEx. And uh, I was tracking a package earlier, so I can just go track a package here. And there's my FedEx package. Um, you know, here's a fun one, Rabbit Radio. Uh, this finds your local uh, NPR station. Isn't that great? And you can just listen to it. And you can even listen to it when Dashboard's off. It's great. Um, but he gave in if Hamilton would recognize... Nothing as great as NPR. 
Um, here's, uh, let me go find another one here. Let's see, uh, here's a fun one for uh, sports enthusiasts, which is baseball scores, just sitting there scrolling. Uh, TV tracker, I'm sure you've seen. Goes and finds all the TV shows that you might want. This is a favorite of mine, uh, Wikipedia. Uh, for those of you who don't, don't know, this is an open source encyclopedia where everybody contributes to it. It has now become uh, w one of the most robust and certainly accurate encyclopedias in the world because you've got experts from all over the world contributing to it. And uh, we just look up tiger here and uh, you can get the lowdown on uh, all kinds of tigers. So that's Wikipedia, which is great. And lastly, I just wanted to show you uh, Yahoo just released an updated one on their traffic and I can put... Uh, San Francisco, California here, uh, and uh, there is the traffic updates for San Francisco. So these are just a few of the over 400 uh, dashboard widgets that uh, are available now uh, on uh, Tiger that you can go get. And we just released a new site uh, on the OS 10 tab of Apple.com, which makes it much easier to find these things. So go check them out. They're pretty amazing. So OS 10 Tiger. Now, what percent does this represent of all Mac OS users? These two million copies that we've delivered so far. They represent already 16% of the entire Mac OS 10 user base. Panther is about half, uh, about a quarter is Jaguar, and about 10% are the laggards on early versions of 10. And after six weeks, this is phenomenal. Now, where do we expect to be when we meet again here next year? This time next year, we expect the Tiger is going to be half of the OS X user base. So we're really thrilled about that. And if we take a look at what we've done over the last five years, we've released five major versions 